the Washington Huskies first pad of practice is over and it was a spirited practice as you can imagine with the helmets and the shoulder pads and all of that and so without any more further jargon let's go to the b-roll and the video <laughs> that it's crazy because like you know each 
you know, position in our offense requires certain things, and I honestly feel like we have the perfect, you know, fit in certain situations for they, they do a good job of putting people where well they have success, and I think that, you know, um, we complement each other, whether it's, you know, trying to get each other open. We're all selfless out there, you know. We, we just want to get the rock in somebody's hands as long as it's going to one of us, so we're happy. So, um, you know, going out there and all of us knowing the playbook, it, it helps us complement each other, really. Speaking of the quarterback position, Michael's uh, leadership, what can you say about it? Oh, it's amazing. You know, uh, Mike Mike takes full leadership of the offense and, and the team as well, um, knowing that, you know, he's a key, fi key figure, you know, um, as a quarterback should do. And I think that he, he steps into that role. He doesn't shy away from it. And, you know, he's vocal. He, 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 uh, he's vocal. He leads by example, you know, the, the whole nine. So um, having him as a leader, being able to look up to that guy and, and look for him for, for moral support, for, you know, for an example to look at for, for uh, what it means to be a Husky. Um, it's, it's been amazing, man. With he does his, a great job. Sorry, with his ball placement, is it, I mean, how precise do, does your route have to be? I mean, is it more encouragement or is it more like, man, I got to make sure I get this right? Right. Um, no, I mean, you know, if if Mike is back there, he, he's going to give you a shot regardless. Um, so it's up to you to, you know, create separation and, and, and get away from the defender. But um, regardless of where the defender's at, Mike's going to put in the spot that probably you can only get us, um, which is unique to himself. So. Um, yeah, we try, try and do our best to, to create separation. But with Mike, you know, you always have a shot to catch the ball. You feel you are always, we're always open to that, to that uh, possibility. So we, we go out there and try and catch it regardless of what happens. I know how much of a leader are, are you? Last one, how much of a leader? Because, you know, you have multiple leaders on the team. And what kind of leader are you in? Right. I think that, you know, I've stepped into that leadership role. I think last year, you know, even had the success that I had, I feel like um, I could be a better leader for this team because I was an older guy and I kind of want to lead that role to some of the older guys. But now, you know, God willing, it's my last season. I want to make sure I make my mark on, um, you know, these young guys and my peers. And I've really been, you know, making some strides, making some efforts to make sure I'm being vocal and, and being out here encouraging guys and leading by example. So um, still something I'm learning, but something I'm, I'm glad to do. Thanks. I know we're probably not going to see you. Yeah, it went great. Very competitive. Um, a lot of guys, you know, pushing each other to be great and be better. You know, we've been having that a lot, you know, this whole off season, And, you know, it, it's been great, you know, taking taking steps day by day, you know, uh, to help this team, you know, win football games. And how, how are you feeling out there? How, how do you feel things are going for you? How, what are you trying to accomplish in practice? And, and what are you looking forward to? Yeah, um, so one of the main things uh, that I noticed, uh, actually Coach Grubb brought it to me yesterday. You know, after the first two practices, he showed me some of the stats from last year and uh, this year and just completion, completion percentage. You know, it just, you know, way higher than what it was last year. And, you know, that's one of my biggest focuses, you know, just trying to get the ball in my guys' hands, you know, um, being, being high in that completion percentage range, you know, and I feel like I've been doing – um, pretty good with that, you know, but obviously it's always going to get better. Did you kind of get the day off today from the reps? Because the, the other quarterbacks seem to get more of an opportunity to show what they can do. Yeah, um, early on in practice, I, I was taking uh, all the reps, but uh, we had a big lift yesterday, and, you know, we wanted to get uh, Austin Mack in there as well, you know, get him some reps, you know, so he could see it, you know, in like not truly a game time feel, but, you know, just live, some live action, you know, so we could see how he was. And I feel like he, he's definitely picking up on things. Uh, very well, and he's doing real good. What, what, what is your reaction to Washington becoming a big team team? Oh man, man, I'm I'm excited, you know, for the guys. You know, obviously I won't be here, but uh, I I know that you know we're, we're definitely gonna be ready for whatever whatever comes at us. And um, from me being in that league, you know, um, I was able to play a lot of those teams, and we're we're right. We're, we're definitely a great team. Let's how, just how say that. You, We're a great team. Sorry, how, how would you describe what Big Ten football is like? Big Ten football? Yeah. Um, yeah, as far as Pac-12, I feel like, you know, with the quarterback play that we have in the Pac-12 right now, it, it's a lot of a lot of the balls in the air, you know, um, just it's throwing a lot. And I feel like Big Ten, you'll probably get some, like a little bit more running, you know, a little bit more balanced, you know. Um, you know that's, that's, that's about it, though. Yeah, just more balanced. So running the ball more than what, what you see in the Pac-12 right now, especially with the quarterback play. Well, there you had it, right? And so you you heard from Michael Penix and a couple other players just in terms of, you know, where they're at and obviously the conference switch and things like that. But really, uh, I would say today the offense 
is just a, a step ahead of the defense and just just because of the familiarity and the communication that's going that, that's been going on and so you can expect that normally you know the defense will catch up here soon but right now it's that that prolific husky offense is right on pace and as i said it's a little bit ahead of the defense for the cascadia sports dot net report i'm asvita mara